Okay, maybe what we can do is we can have few discussions related to uh, the NEETPENT program as others will join then uh, we will have to take up their questions also. So in the last couple of days, uh, good morning, Rathi sir. Uh, he is joining from ICC West. Good morning. Good morning. So basically, uh, as per the NEETMED program, uh, what we have is uh, many people were asking from different parts of the country regarding the uh, pros of this program. What are the benefits the students are going to get? So it is something that if we list as per the uh, brochure given, that what are the key features they are going to have? Definitely one particular feature is they are going to get their accessibility, their uh, like, availability to the industries with a particular scorecard. And we were trying to stress on very important factor which could not be highlighted in the poster, like the mark sheet they will be getting, or all the students are going to get a particular mark sheet where they will find not only their own score, but how much they have attempted. And out of that, what is their accuracy level? That means out of say 20 questions or say 30 questions, if he is getting 25 correct and someone from 25 questions, if he is getting 25 questions correct, that means his accuracy level is much more. So if the industry is trying to look for such kind of the accuracy level of a candidate, that also can be judged from the particular mark sheet. So not only just the score, if there is a tie in the score and the industries are looking for the candidates. So if they want to check for the accuracy level, that is one very important feature that we have incorporated and that will be available to all the students. Then there will be a gradation uh, that will be defined after the examination is over just for any other competitive exam that what will be the cutoff for the clearance and what will be the uh, cutoff for a particular recommendation. So as of now, we have kept it in this way that if students are scoring like 35% and above, they are going to get a mark sheet. 60% and above, they are going to get a certificate of merit. And 75% and above, they are going to get a recommendation letter from the industry, basically from the ICC. So accordingly, based on the rankings, based on the national level ranking, the state-wise ranking, they are also going to get some scholarships. So those amount and what will be the rank, what, who is the topper, how the entire structure will be listed. Based on that, the data will be available. And as we have discussed in suitable operations, uh, they are going to be handed over the, like the digital certificate, the digital check that we see as a normal event when we hand over a check to someone and the account will be transferred, uh, the amount will be transferred to their account accordingly. So this is the projection for the examination evaluation point of view. And from the student's point of view, what are they going to gain for a lifetime basis is a feature that is very much useful for all the candidates throughout the country. That is once we have the students from all parts of the country, we find there is a difficulty in writing the CV. So once the registration process is over from 15th May onwards, uh, there will be a feature like CV building process. The students can put on their all the relevant details in the specific fields and accordingly the CV will be processed and they can forward this link to the industries they are looking for, to the different people they are looking for and that will be a live link shared. So this is a feature which is available for a lifetime basis. Any student can get access to this CV the uh, live link CV for a lifetime basis and the mark, sheet, the mark sheet that is available, that will be available for uh, like a two years time. So they can download it from the portal. They can forward the link to the different industries and that will be available as uh, the students will also get that the live, the live cert the certificate or the scorecard is valid for two years. So that's why the certificate, the certificate of merit, everything will be available to them for a period of two years with a particular direct link to the portal. So no chance of tampering of data. In most cases, the industries find it difficult that they have to again check back uh, about the, like the, 
authenticity of the reports they are submitting. So that all uh, that also is ensured from our end. There will be a QR code available on the uh, certificate, so the industries can also scan and get the direct link, and the students can also share the direct link. So this is all that we have from the program point of view. And if the students are probably going through the brochure, the posters, they will find that there are areas of specialization which have been marked, like the taxation and finance, accounting and finance, computer and e-business applications, marketing management, and general course. So they have options to choose out of the five. And so that over there, that will be the financial aptitude section, which they will be uh, going through. That will have some 60% of the marks and 40% of the marks will be from the general aptitude, the other sections uh, like we have for any other competitive exam. So that has also been enlisted in the certificate uh, and the poster and the brochure as well. So I think uh, with these basic introduction, as we are almost on this uh, time schedule of 11.59 from 12 o'clock, uh, we are expecting everyone to join. So as of now, uh, let me please in, let me take this opportunity to introduce, uh, yes, uh, introduce uh, myself as Shujai Mukherjee, head of academic affairs, Calnesta Knowledge Solutions. Uh, we have uh, from my team over here, so Mr. Sandeep Boral, who is the CEO and director of Calnesta Knowledge Solutions. We have the two experts, uh, Dr. Amita Voshil and Dr. Nilanjan Chengupta, uh, the chief guest for our program over here. And along with us, we have the regional heads. We have the representative from the ICC headquarters as Shuparna Ghosh. We have the representative from ICC uh, region West, Rathish Nayar. We have the representative from ICC Delhi section, the Delhi region, Rahul Chakravarti. And we have, as of now, the representative from ICC Odisha section, Devdatta Shahu. So we are uh, waiting for all others to join as well. And in between, we would also expect more delegates to join as they all know the time schedule is from 12 o'clock. Hi, Shujai. Good morning. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Uh, we can wait for uh, five, uh, another five minutes because a lot of people are joining. Right. Let us wait for five minutes and then we, sure. can, start, we can start the presentation. Good morning to all our ICC colleagues, Indian Chamber of Commerce. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, just for your information, Shujoy, that uh, I have requested uh, uh, Tarali from our Northeast office to join. And okay. also Valentina is going to join from our uh, South office. Okay. So they will be just representing the office and taking down the notes of whichever uh, important uh, things we discuss. And accordingly, we can brief them up later on. Thank you, Radish, for joining. Uh, Rahul, I think you are also on board. Thank you. Yes. Hi, Zuparna. Hi, Rahul. I have some band little bandwidth issue. So that's how I'm switching. I mean, I'm not switching on the video part, but I'm there in the audio. No problem. No problem. I think Bodhita is also here. I think he should join also for 5-10 minutes. He's also another, on another call. Yes, I have received the message from like uh, Dr. Abhirami Devi Bhaktavatsalam Memorial College, Koratu, Chennai. So, yeah, I think she now, had called up also. She I think also they have also up. joined in the delegate section. We will have them. So, just now they have replied that uh, they are also joining. I think we should start. Uh, let the uh, others go. Morning, morning, Mr. Boral. You are on mute. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Good morning. This is Rahul from the Delhi office. Yes, sir. Uh, I could see your message in the group. 
about the IIT University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a good beginning. Yes, sir. In fact, uh, we have uh, communicated with around uh, 108, I believe, in Delhi. Yes, so sir. So we have already communicated from ICC Delhi office. Yeah. And uh, other states start to follow. Maybe in the next two three days, we would be touching base with them. Yes, sir. So uh, let's hope this is a good beginning. I think. Yes, sir. <laughs> Now initiative is good. Our intention is also good. Now let us see how the system runs and how we can achieve our target. Absolutely. Like a. Uh, okay, we are. I'm just uh, keeping a track on the chat window. Also, we have the delegates joining and. The, we would, I would request that those of you who are joining as delegates, if you could kindly uh, pass on your uh, name of the colleges along with the email ID or the phone numbers, uh, then if we have some specific information at a later part of the uh, stage, then we can also share that with you. Uh, because many uh, colleges have requested that they will have their other colleagues uh, who will be joining from the delegate link as they are in busy with some NAC meetings or other in important meetings in their colleges. So I hope that there will be more representations uh, coming up soon as I'm receiving messages in my mobile also that some of the colleges they, are, uh, they have assigned other delegates to join. There will be more students also who will be joining to know about this program from different parts of the country. Yes, as of now, the participant count is 88. Yes. yes. I think we can, we can start. Mohanani Kashishwari College. Fine. Thank you, ma'am. Rupa Sharma, Sony Sharma, one to three. Fine. We will just keep track. We, we may start if everybody is. I think uh, we could start the meeting because sure. I think we have uh, roughly about uh, 100 people who are already logged in. So why don't you start? Right. So uh, good, uh, good afternoon, all of you. Uh, we are representing, uh, like I would request, I would introduce Mr. Uh, Bodhisattva Mukherjee from uh, Indian Chamber of Commerce headquarters as the additional director over there. And we are from different regions. We have the representations from different regions and myself, Shujan Mukherjee from Kalnister. So what we have uh, gone into this program, what we have tried to initiate into this picture as most of you have received in the brochure, that this is the initiative which has been taken from Indian Chamber of Commerce to bridge the gap between the potential employers and the employable candidates. So, there is a two important terms that we come across that in this particular phase of this pandemic and post pandemic phase that most of the industries are suddenly facing a difficulty in recruiting students all over the country. This is not exactly we should say that only for this country, but this is a situation for most of the countries, the friends of uh, from different countries also they have the same issue that we are not being able to assess the candidates in a proper way because we all had a like a very structured examination system, very structured mechanism, which was running very smoothly over the last few years, as we know. But in this particular phase of this pandemic, there was not any proper mechanism which could be designed. We had a lot of issues in arranging the classes. So first and foremost, the almost one entire year was spent to find or to design a proper way to teach. Then probably it was found that it is more difficult to assess a candidate. In many cases that we find that there is an option for open book test, but the open book test that we see in the different foreign countries and the open book test for that reason, the questions or the mechanism or the pattern of the questions that are likely to come is not that we have found in this particular segment. So most of the candidates scoring 80, 85 percent, 90. And if I'm too optimistic in this sense that students are scoring 95 percent marks 
and there is a gap that in the other semesters their score has not been up to that mark so industries find it really difficult to assess the students potential based on his role in a particular segment when he will be recruited so this was one major issue that has been highlighted and for that reason we have come up with a mechanism that if all the students from accounting finance and this uh, like commerce field can be assessed in a common platform so this common platform will take care of the students assessment in two categories one out of 40 marks one out of 60 marks are total of 100 and in the 60 percent segment they will have to choose from the five disciplines which have been highlighted like taxes and finance accounting and finance computer and e-business applications then the marketing management and the general course so based on the 60 percent of the marks which have been allotted to their core field and 40 percent for the general aptitude section there will be a total assessment which will be which will be done so that there is a pan india wise assessment on a common platform and these assessment will be done on a computer based examination system so the students once they register once they locate their particular region of their choice they will get options to choose their venue and accordingly once the registration process is over depending on the number of count depending on the availability of the centers the students are going to get the admit card based on their preference and their center locations so most of you most of the like the delegates who have received the brochure and the poster they will find that we have located all the centers that we have mapped with our examination system so with the indian map given if you please kindly go through the poster and the brochure you will find that the entire segment in the pan india basis all the regions have been marked and also if you go to the NITMET site the NITMET portal over there the examination cities link is also provided so from that segment we can easily find that most of the regions pan india wise have been covered and we are also looking forward we are also working on to increase the number of centers throughout the country as of now if we go in this way from lay to andaman we have centers so students are definitely going to get better accessibility in as, uh, getting access to the centers to reach out to the centers and over there they will find the questions are coming up in their terminal they have to attempt the questions the questions will come in a shuffling mode all the requisite parameters that we have for any kind of uh, competitive exam everything has been designed and then the marks will be curated based on their performance at each and every segment and so that when the final mark sheet is coming up as i was discussing few minutes back about the uh, strength of this examination system as many industrialists have also asked for that how we are going to assess the potential of the candidate the question paper definitely will be same for each segment but the assessment will record how much is the accuracy level of each candidate so as i was mentioning if a particular segment has got 30 questions and a student has got 20 questions right and another student attempting 25 questions have got 20 questions right so these particular assessment that out of how many questions a student is getting the better score that accuracy level will be an important parameter important feature for the industries as well so this will be a very major aspect in the mark sheet before that as uh, most of you have seen that we have incorporated the cv building feature none of us from the country as we observe that very we are very proficient in english we are not like we born with the mother tongue as English that we will think of uh, something with the flourishing English and we will keep on writing a CV to make it more attractive. But we must also know that for a writing a CV and to present it to the industry, we have some key points that needs to be placed. It's not about writing some flourishing English and putting our own strength, but also to put the right strength at the right position so that the right industry finds us. So for this way, 
we have enabled this CV writing feature also, which will be activated from May 15th. So the students are going to get this particular accessibility as well. So this is one ma very major uh, aspect. If you all see that the uh, CV writing feature is there, the resume building feature. And after that, there will be the mock test feature. The students are going to get access to the different mock tests as well. So this is one major aspect that students will uh, find that what are the different type of examinations, uh, how they have to attempt to these questions. So such kind of feature will also be there. So this is the fundamental structure that we have uh, uh, in this particular, our national employability assessment test as we have framed it in that banner. Uh, so this is the major aspect. So we would request now uh, as to the basic concept we have tried to establish as many uh, like the delegates who are now present have called me also earlier that we receive the poster, we receive the banner, but we want to know more about that what we are exactly looking for. So in this aspect, I would now request our two uh, like industry specialists and also from a major segment from industry and academia. So the academy industry balance will be maintained. So we have two representatives, Dr. Nilanjan Sengupta, who will be talking on this aspect that why NICMED, why this national employability assessment test uh, on that issue. And I would request also that Dr. Amitha Vashil, who will also present that what is the industry's focus? What is the industry's aspect? Because he has been into industries for quite some time. And after that, he has come back to academia to share his experience also in this aspect. So I start with Dr. Nilanjan Shengupta. I request him uh, to give his view on this aspect of why this NEETMET platform or why this NEETMET is required. Uh, Dr. Shengupta, please. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mukherjee. Uh, in fact, uh, this NITMET was, conce was conceptualized uh, so that the students of uh, any general degree colleges can get a chance to project himself in the course. I am from engineering field. We have got enough scope uh, through GATE or other exams uh, to reach to the national or international arena. But for other graduate students, like in commerce or in law, in some other uh, some other disciplines, they do not have that platform to reach to the global platform or to the global industries and project their themselves as a potential candidate uh, for the industry. So for that reason, this type of a common assessment case where all the candidates, all the students will come to the same platform and there are different uh, segments also like uh, law, like uh, uh, other contractual things and all these things. So they have to excel in that also, which is not taught in the general degree colleges, but there are some modules here, which they can go to and they can, uh, they can grab those things and they can appear for the assessment test. One thing is very particular that this is an assessment test. This is not a gateway for getting a job. Because the job, uh, the industry will assess what is the potential of that student, whether the student matches to their need. So based on that, based on this assessment, the scores in the assessment, what Mr. Mukherjee has already described, the how the scoring pattern will be there, how the assessment pattern will be there. So based on that, the industries can select the uh, they select the candidates. Suppose one industry, they want a candidate from their locality and uh, for, uh, for commerce background uh, with some uh, say uh, some accounting uh, uh, say, say some accounting uh, aptitude with with that so the industry can select those students similarly those who have who are no, have no fascination about the local students they can choose the candidates from other the other uh, region also so all aspects are embedded in this system and everybody, all the, all the candidates or all the students who will appear for this examination or for this assessment case, they can uh, they can build their resume with this, uh, the app is embedded here. And also they can project themselves to the national area. So that is the, uh, 
reason why this type of niche match has been formulated and why the Indian Chamber of Commerce, which is the leading body of the uh, commerce uh, chambers of the uh, chambers and commerce industries, commerce and industries, they have come forward to uh, popularize this among the students. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mukherjee. What to Dr. Shi? Uh, with uh, Sarah's viewpoint, then uh, what I would find is I would then first have uh, if uh, to have Bodhisattva sir to take up from this point, then I will come back to Amitabha sir. Though I mentioned about Amitabha sir, that Bodhisattva sir, if you can please uh, take up one important point that what is this uh, Indian Chamber of Commerce role over here to connect industry and like understanding the pain points that how we can structure it. So how we are looking forward this point, if you can kindly highlight this point also. Yes, Jay, what do you want? Uh, sir, I just want to uh, ha have you to share your views uh, on say, for example, over here that how ICC is going to help in this aspect, like many people were asking that uh, how we can have the industries collaborating over here how the industries will find us. So what is the industry's pain point? If people are listening from my uh, side only, from uh, my words. So they just want to know about few points from your side also. No, no, no. Uh, see, the points from my, our side is basically, uh, see, ICC uh, definitely represents a large number of industries. Right. And uh, also, uh, you know, this kind of uh, examination and the scores that, uh, the students uh, get in this uh, kind of examination, which is well structured and uh, uh, which uh, I would say that has uh, the questions are uh, developed in accordance with the experts in uh, their own fields. Right. People uh, getting the kind of desired scores. Uh, I'm sure the industry uh, will also take note of uh, the scores that these uh, uh, people get in this particular test before they give them either an apprenticeship or absorb them uh, at the later point in time in their own organizations. So we have had a discussion with uh, the industry uh, representatives, uh, especially among our member companies. And uh, many of them have found uh, this particular module which they have developed uh, quite uh, useful and has an industry perspective. Uh, so, uh, you know, the students passing this examination will also uh, not only be, you know, kind of uh, uh, academically sound, but will also have uh, a basic understanding of what the industry requirements are. Yes. So that would probably help uh, the industry uh, to, you know, kind of induct them for training or later on for uh, direct absorption, uh, especially when they already come with a background and they come with an understanding uh, as to what, uh, you know, beyond their study books, what is actually required in the practical field. So I, I'm sure this kind of uh, exam and this curriculum will definitely give them an edge over the competition uh, because uh, there are other people who would be a part of the competition, but people who pass this test, who go through the, uh, the uh, course material and eventually take the test and pass them with flying colors, I'm sure they will have a, a distinct advantage over their peers who are not qualified through this test. So that is how ICC uh, joined hands. And uh, we wanted to give that, uh, I would say that recognition on behalf of the industry at large for this particular program. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, now you request uh, Dr. Amita Vashil. So if you can please connect um, your ideas from your long experience with the industries and then coming back to the academia and what are the stages that you have seen? Like as we were addressing to many people that only just the academic knowledge is not sufficient we must have the industrial pursuit also that when I want to deliver to the industry, just not the academics, but some flavor of the industries is required as well. So with that aspect, if you can highlight a few issues, uh, that would be uh, great. Too. 
uh, good afternoon okay. everybody uh, one thing is very clear uh, that industry doesn't expect while while recruiting a student uh, i should say student while recruiting a student for their uh, job uh, they da- they don't require a taj mahal they in fact require a brick and mortar a good brick and mortar because once you have a taj mahal then you cannot mold it so one thing is very clear the students or the aspiring candidates who will join to an industry they should they should have the proper basic knowledge and they should adopt the present system that is going on in the industry basically in every sphere being in accounts or anything you will find that lot of accounting softwares and all these things are going on and student must know this and before that once you adopt any software or anything for any system you have the basic knowledge so student must possess a basic knowledge and they should have the recent things that are going on around that field that they should know these are the two aspects they should have the moldability also because if you are very rigid on your decision then you cannot then you cannot build a team so a teamwork is very much necessary because a a a, a team a proper team can only be constructed once you have the capability of uh, listening to others otherwise you cannot build a team so that thing a industry is Uh, very much industry requires these things very much from a student or or a, a expects that a student must have these things so uh, in the in the in the uh, accounting field the also many things are happening now and also the more uh, the, the the process of accounting has basic things have not changed but the way of doing things have changed so If they are they are an industry they in industry there will find a tier one tier two tier three types of industries and they have once basic thing is very clear for the industry that they wants to improve the bottom line figure and they wants to uh, they wants to uh, build up their own thing and so that at the end of the day they should have something in their pocket so. and and in a student must know all these things how these are doing how they how they will have to do while joining in a company and then other things they should also uh, because in a, a focus on the industry uh, in in engineering and in many fields you will find that is an industrial visit but in commerce stream uh, or the accounting stream they don't have these kind of facilities to go to visit to an industry uh, to have the idea what is going on but for a become students they only pass and then they apply and they will join but in in case of any engineering students they have a professional uh, they have to have a vocational training they have to go to industry they have to find what is going on they have to take training that that is that is there but i think uh the way uh the icc and calnester they have reached together these things can be overcome and and one thing the question sujoy is telling sujoy was telling that uh, the questions the questions will be mr bodhisattva mukherjee also told these questions will be from from the experts uh and and, and what to my point uh the the tie point is very uh, very much uh and they will we'll have to address because a student if we have a few student at a got 24 suppose two students they have got 24 marks for but but that's to one particular students the he has he has tried uh, uh, attempted 30 questions and he has got 40 24 then accordingly his marks will be there 30 divided by uh, 24 divided by 30 but if a student has got uh, 24 questions and 24 marks and he has attempted 25 questions then 
there will be a reduction in percentage from his marks because he has attempted not a negative marking, but that, that a concept of negative markings would be introduced to avoid the tie marks. That I, I think it is necessary. And other things, what is going on, let us see, because everything is uh, what you have, uh, what the NITMET uh, posters and other things, they are, these are very informative. I have also sent to some other, or uh, some other, some colleges, and everybody is praising that. So well, let us hope that a uh, good beginning will be there. Uh, the questions and the exam will be, will be, uh, done in a better way so that the requirement for basic requirement of screening a students we can have we can we can supply uh, the data to the prospective industries uh, and they cannot turn down the our our these findings that we should hope okay i think this will be hello yes sir no. thank you sir no. uh, uh, at this point, we are getting few questions also. I am keeping track of that. Uh, that um, someone has asked about the mock test will be available with a cost or no cost is required. Yes, uh, it will be available at no cost. Once a student is registering, uh, as you can see for that 499, the student is getting a lifetime uh, chance to go on with this particular year, this CV building process. The mock test before the exams, the life uh, CV building process and the live CV link is available for a lifetime period. The mock test is available before the exam for one time basis. So three mock tests probably will be given. We are just working on with it. So before the fine, uh, the examination on 2nd and 3rd July, definitely the mock test that they are going to get that is at no cost. Everything is included within that registration fee. Uh, suppose the next question is, suppose the various students are doing in CA, CS, CMS so that the time we can do uh, so that time can we do prepare the type that type of exam yes we are having we are keeping this type of exam open for the basically bcom mcom and also to students uh, from starting from the pre-final and the final year students of this uh, segment and also for the students who have like uh, qualified within these two to three years time and those students who are having far more experience we are planning they can definitely attempt they can definitely see what is their state of uh, like the uh, re relation with the academics and the industrial bench benchmark if they are like to go for the checkpoint that how i am remembering my old uh, stuff also they can definitely check but at the same time those who are doing uh, ca cs cma we are also planning to launch a level two exam so if we think in that way where the BCom, MCom and two-year ex experience candidates are appearing. So for that level, we probably will go for another level two exam as well. So I would request that in that sense, uh, anyone can take this exam. It is no one is barred from taking this exam once someone is willing to pursue a career in the fields of accounting, commerce and finance. So in that way, I think hope I have answered your question. Orjun Tiwari has asked the syllabus for assessment test. If you please kindly go through the website, the entire detailed structure of the general aptitude section and for all the five specializations, whichever you will be choosing, that has been given. So the entire structure is given. The, all the detailed segment has already been provided. Uh, is Another question has come up from Twinkle. Is a student are given training about various accounting softwares? If yes, then online or in person? No, as of now, we have this assessment structure first. We are planning to look up for the response from all the candidates because as you can see, uh, this has been the initiative which has been taken for the first time. So in due course of time, probably we will be incorporating the different learning hub and the learning module pattern all as well. So we are definitely looking for your question also. Thank you uh, for the questions that we have reason, uh, received as of now. Uh, sir, when mock tests are starting, you can see the timeline. The timeline is given. Jyoti Mishra has asked that when the mock tests are starting, the mock tests will be available uh, just once the registration process and entire phase is over. The mock tests, uh, the CV building processes are also enabled. From that point of view, the mock test will be available and the students who are registering will get link with the mock test 
uh, structure the user id password all the things will be provided so those communications will go on keep on happening in due course of time uh, with these few questions as of now that i have received i would now like to request uh like uh, rahul chakraborty from icc delhi region if you may please uh like address uh, the gathering here that what is the situation in delhi and the suburbs like he is representing ic uh, delhi region so what is the situation from that end as i mentioned that we have representatives from throughout the country so i would just like to request each and every regional experts the regional heads if they can also forward their views on the aspect that uh, what is the situation in those region because we have the attendees from different regions also rahul sir please if you would like to share your views uh, from the industrial requirements from delhi region and like uh, the, maybe like gurgaon and all the other belts within that periphery uh, may i request rahul sir to have his views in this regard i think yeah, as he mentioned that about some bandwidth issues i'm i'm not sure whether uh, he is getting us on call probably uh, from odisha section we have uh, devdatta sahu he has been very energetic throughout we are keeping track with the progress in different segment so uh, devdatta sahu if you can please uh, share your views in between probably if we have connection yes rahul sir yes Sujoy, you were saying something to me. Ah, uh, yes, sir. That if you can uh, just share your views about the you know, requirements from the industry, from commerce accounting, from the Delhi and the region, how the industries look for the candidates, or what is the probability of a candidate in that area getting recruited in this post-pandemic situation, just from the market uh, scenario. See, basically, when we talk about uh, commerce, economics. and accountancy finance profile guy uh, i don't uh, think that uh, anything exists like uh, what exists actually for the technical graduates like engineers or doctors they already have some uh, benchmarks and systems in place in the industry whereas in commerce uh, in accountancy for example we have the cmas cas those are already recognized but as when we talk about uh, normal graduates bcom accountancy commerce graduates finance people so this is a good initiative and uh, should be endorsed by the industry basically once it is endorsed by icc so industry should uh, chakravarti you are muted i think uh, ra uh, rahul sir ha ah. yes sir i got yeah. muted you sir in between yes sir i think i think uh, we are losing him right now uh, just maybe the it may be the due to the bandwidth as is uh, yes, yes, yes. yeah so just carry on with the others uh, right right uh, rahul sir we will come back to you probably we are not able to uh, listen to you at this point uh, i would request now if uh, uh, like from odisha section devdatta sahu sir is present hello i am sujay ji good afternoon कॉलेज एवरी इयर बट सो मेनी आर देर हुर डो वॉट टू डू like after commerce and uh, so many thing and uh, the with the certificate that will uh, give value to their course also and after that uh, i think uh, with icc we can 
which uh, like uh, as you have mentioned before also like we are going to uh, uh, industries with their cvs like the uh, once they they have cleared the exam uh, like they have something to say that we are uh, uh, like um, uh, like uh, already ready for the industry that will help uh, the student in uh, overly and uh, we are working hard here like we are getting in like, uh, as we have 121 list of colleges uh, like in odisha we, we have started uh, like touching everyone and we are expecting so like the registrations as, as soon as possible Okay, thank you, sir. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, we have Ajay Kumar, sir, from uh, Jharkhand section. So, uh, over the last few weeks, we are having good uh, connection with him also as we are trying to connect all the colleges as we are all trying to uh, like send the hard copy materials. But what I observed is like before Ajay sir takes up from here that uh, we, we cannot like... Uh, put the blame on anyone, we will take it on our shoulders. But it is one fact definitely that we have tried to reach out to most of the colleges. We are trying to send the hard copy poster and the brochure to most of the colleges. But in some cases, we have observed that there has been a delay from Indian Post with the postage issues or anything has happened because we tried to conduct some like a survey that how many colleges have received so in many cases, we have observed that some of the colleges are yet to receive the brochure or the poster, or there has been like a failure in the dispatch, some packets have been returned, then we tried to call up to the colleges also. So we found that somewhere it the colleges were missed, something has happened in the postal issues. So we tried to like transmit the soft copy poster and the brochure also to the different colleges. So this is for information to all the attendees, all the panelists, all the experts over here from our efforts from this end. So I would request others and also from Jharkhand section to take some, to give his valuable feedback from this area of Jharkhand, how things can be reached to how the colleges can be informed and what is the industrial requirement in that bill. And at that same point, I would like to share my screen over here with the NITMED site so that I can just highlight to the issues like the exam cities and the, like the syllabus, the distributions that we have directly from the website itself. So all the attendees can have a view of that. In between, Ajay sir, please, if you uh, take up and say your, give your valuable feedback as well. May I have Ajay sir, please? Ajay Kumar, sir, from uh, ICC Jharkhand section. Okay, maybe uh, like, let's see if we can have him in between. Uh, before that, before Ajay sir takes up, uh, can I now request uh, like Shuparna Ghosh from ICC Kolkata section. She has been doing a lot of work from here as a part of the headquarter also uh, to uh, take this issue and um, pass the, on the information to promote this particular exam to different colleges throughout the country. So may we have her views also in this regard and how she feels about this initiative where we are trying to bridge the gap between the industries and the academy. Uh, Mrs. Ghosh, please. Uh, thank you, Shujoy, and uh, to give me this opportunity to speak something uh, regarding this initiative and the platform which NITMED and I Manami mean, Kalnester and ICC is sharing on a common uh, state. Uh, I would also like to uh, thank uh, Mr. Mukherjee, Bodhishattva Mukherjee, and also the senior from the industry level to give us the right feedback on how we can do this jointly. Uh, my point is ICC being a 
common uh, you know stage where all the sector heads and all the regional uh, you know uh, communications are being uh, together you know stand step so that way our uh, main objective is that we always focus that industry always requires a steady inflow of good and stable candidates in various sectors so netmet will be that right platform to understand every student every college every fraternity industry academia to understand that after these two years where each student is lacking where they are standing now and what would be the benchmark to uh, unfold the correct you know that 35 or 40% what initiative is more required how a candidate can achieve that 45 50 60 to get that merit card or to get that skill to connect with that industry on the correct level so that identification will be very focused and every college will also have a correct networking with the industry to properly project every uh, this three or four categories which this uh, calnester has you know diversified so to understand the periphery of the strength and the weakness and also motivate every student or every personnel to get that right kind of attitude to face the industry so i think that is uh, that is the most important hand holding that netmet or galnester with icc will bridge the gap so that is what i understood and uh, Uh, reaching out to every college, be it on a private level, like Saint Xavier's, Loreto, what we have been doing with Mr. Mukherjee, right now that has also we are very happy that they are also you know uh, gave us very positive feedback that yes they are interested for such a platform to understand where the students are right now and where the market will go after two three years. So this will be a joint initiative. It will be not the first time, but we will be continuing. Uh, continuously doing this process uh, so that you know the benchmark is achieved and we can have a very good set goal uh, for the industry as well as the students to be on that same platform i think that is it thank you madam uh, for your views in this regard so over here just i would as i am sharing the screen Uh, i think the questions that many people were asking i will just uh, keep the video off for us few uh, seconds over here so that everyone all the participants can go through the different sections in our uh, portal that how they can register what are the like the syllabus their eligibility criteria as many were asking about these questions so i will try to just browse through the website to give a view of this entire uh, structure that we have and then i will look for the other questions and answers and other experts comment comments also so for everyone all the students and the delegates who have who are attending this uh, particular webinar for you all see if we go to the netmet site over there uh, just from the login page or the home page if you find that uh, this particular uh link for the indian chamber of commerce joining hands with us to launch this assessment test for commerce accounting and finance this segment is there as we go into the detailed aspect what are the benefits what are the key projections that we have that it's a computer based exam with 200 plus exam venues over here we are going to have a very transparent system as uh, the as a very important uh, perspective that once the industries are looking for an assessment test what we always try to focus on that for most of the examinations whether it is the gate examination or the cat examination or many of the prominent examinations around the country we don't find the question papers given directly and made available to the industries also so this is a very very major and important aspect that we have uh, incorporated over here that the transparent process that what is the question that has been asked and one very important perspective is that the industries and the academic persons who are acting as the subject matter experts over here they have to take they are taking extreme pain in designing each and every question meticulously 
and they're taking care of the fact that these questions are not repeated in the next section. This was a major question which was asked by the industries also, how do we ensure? So we have a very secure database from where we will try to curate the questions and we will keep track that the question that has been asked is not being repeated. So over there and the questions, the entire question paper will be made available. So the industries know what were the questions and the most important aspect that the answer sheet, the response sheet will be available to the industries if they want to see how the students have fared in the exams. As we all know that most of the publishing houses nowadays are coming up with the, uh, like the toppers answer sheet. So this is like a, uh, like a very, uh, like a privilege section, as we say that how a student who has topped in the country's examination has done in the examination live in his paper, these have been scanned and put into the books. This we find for many of the publishing houses they are doing. So we are trying to give it in that way that all the industries are going, if they want, they can directly see the, uh, like the response sheet of the candidate before they're recruiting. So as we know that there are several aspects into this uh, segment. So the students are go also going to get the link to the examination, the scorecards, they can, provide it to the employers also. So uh, to, to, the, to the different employers, to the different uh, job portals, to the different segments, whatever they're applying. So that there is that genuinity of data. No industry can challenge whether a student has tampered any data. No industry can uh, like question you about your credibility in that aspect. So this is the uniform and transparent aspect. So entire uh, segment wise, the Pan-India talent pool, it will be made available. May, most of the industries are in many cases, they ask for regional candidates. Though most of the candidates at the very initial phase look for that we can be recruited at any state, but at later point of time, it find, it, it, the industry is fine. It's again a pain point from the industry that the employees want to get back to their states. So not, right now, the industries are also very choosy in this aspect. So they would like to have the candidates from the specific regions also. So we will have some curated data based on that specific uh, requirement as well. So visibility to the recruiters, as we are planning to have some event where the scholarships to the toppers will be given to the regional toppers or the different data as we find from the top strata as we have. So they are going to get some uh, like recommendation from the industries. They are going to get some uh, like the uh, some different other views regarding from the industries also. So these will be available. So visibility to the visibility to the recruiters can also be mapped in this aspect. Employability scorecard. So this will be given to all the candidates, those who are qualifying for the test, those who are scoring above a certain level, maybe 60% and so, they will get a certification of merit and above 75% and so, there will be endorsement and awards and scholarships. So this will be provided. If you go through, if we find the, like the, uh, let me go to the timeline. Right. So the registration for process, as we mentioned, that it will be continuing for 30th April. So the questions were asked from when the mock test will be given. It will start from 1st June to 30th June. People will have access to the mock, uh, mock test. The resume building process will be activated from 15th May onwards. Then the students can download in between the admit cards from 15th June onwards. And the computer-based examination based on the centers which are available will be on 2nd July and 3rd July, depending on the number of registrations from a particular state, number of examination venues which are available. Based on that, we have already kept two dates reserved. So whether your test will be on 2nd July or 3rd July, that only can be decided once the entire registration process is over. And we have been able to generate the admit card for each and every candidate. So after that, once the examination process is over by 3rd July, all the, the results, grade sheet, certificate, everything will be made available from 31st July onwards. And as I mentioned, as we mentioned that onwards, why it is onwards? Because the mark sheets will be available for two years because the NITMED score is valid for two years. The entire uh, response sheet can be visible. The mark sheet can be visible from a direct portal link. Though 
always i keep a mark on that resume building process will be available throughout your lifetime phase as once a student is registered with his account details he can come up he can update the cv and once he is forwarding the cv link so it is not like he will forward a pdf copy and next day you have some updates but the industry is not aware of that you the students can forward the link to the industries if you have updated the cv last night this morning industry is going to get the live cv which you have updated last night so this is the major uh, feature that we have incorporated for most of the candidates as we find so scholarships and all other features awards and everything distribution will happen within this tentative time of 15th august to 31st august maybe there can be slight variation depending on the availability depending on the situation in different segments now coming to the uh, syllabus as uh, you were asking yes so over here within this neatmat tab syllabus exam information exam cities all this relevant information is given so coming to the syllabus point uh, general aptitude section by section if we go through uh, numerical reasoning what it will assess the candidate's ability to work with numerical data such as graphs charts you can all go through that portion these are all very known facts within this general ability test logical reasoning to interpret the information the ability of the candidate to interpret information to help or to apply logic to solve problems draw relevant conclusions from a given scenario so these things will be assessed verbal reasoning it's a candidate's ability to understand and comprehend from a passage analytical reasoning how he can analyze on a particular data how he can resolve with some quick thinking process and this is ob obviously as we have mentioned that it's all based on a certain time frame we all know that there is a clock running behind you so you have to keep track of that also so this analysis has to be done very fast as well basic comprehension the basic english language comprehension skills because we know that uh, once you have been recruited you need to go on with some documentation process there are lot of issues where we have to deal with the foreign clients also so some some part of the uh, data some part of your assessment analysis should also be there so that the industry can recruit you so these uh, abilities will be there uh, these abilities will be assessed over there situational judgment it consists of a series of hypothetical workplace uh, scenarios that a candidate may encounter and what is his best answer to that kind of a situation that also will be uh, taken care of clerical aptitude the candidate's ability to uh, evaluate the different numerical data how he can go for the like the error checking process and from this you have the financial reasoning assess a candidate's perception in financial information coming to the next segment section 2 financial aptitude this is the area of your specialization of a candidate's particular specialization where we have this accounting and finance these are the i am not going through this list now i'm just keeping it open for accounting and finance business regulatory framework starting from that all the different segments probably which the candidate is covering in this 3 years of course then in taxation and finance some of the proportions as you will observe which are very common to both so we have tried to keep track of all the like the university curriculum that we have throughout the country so we have tried to map the experts have come together from different regions they have given their valuable inputs that what are the subjects that must be kept when our candidates these abilities are being judged coming to the like the coming to the portion of the marketing management some portions are there uh, which are common like business regulatory framework statistics mathematics computer applications And then coming to this foreign exchange management marketing research these we will observe that these are something very specialized for a particular course and apart from that taxation and finance again we have some common features apart from that techniques of cost control and all other features which will be there so and computer applications and e business e commerce and business applications then merchant uh, banking and venture capital then e business applications database management e commerce principles of marketing all these dif different issues will be there and the fifth one as we have there as the general course information technology and its application in business e commerce 
techniques of cost control, auditing, accounting reports, analysis, and GST. So these are the broad classifications. Uh, NeatMed, I repeat the link, neatmed.com slash syllabus slash commerce hyphen accounting hyphen finance. So this is the direct link for the syllabus, which you will all get access to. Now we come to the very, very important aspect that we have over here as the live chat. This is a very important feature probably which you can definitely take use of it at any point of time when you are going through the registration process or you have any query regarding the uh, like the what will be the type of the question what are the why uh, what is the detailed part of the syllabus or uh, from uh, if you are getting stuck at any point in the registration process if you are finding that your some part is failing you would not register something happened in the while uh, you are transmitting the uh, link to the bank there is a failure, your computer shut down or anything happened, you can come across in this live chat feature. So this is something that we will have within the working hour schedule. Any other question, if we could not answer within the time frame, you can be rest assured that will be available, that will be uh, like, we will respond to you within due course of time. So over here, you can you have to just put on your name, your email ID and your phone number. So you can start with the chat so that as a candidate, once you're registering, if you're getting stuck with any information, any part, we will immediately get access to who is trying to communicate to us and we can get back to you in due course of time. So this is the entire structure from this part as we find or as you can uh, observe from this segment. And other part like the exam information, uh, this thing is, <coughs> right. What is this test all about? Need made for commerce, accounting and finance. What is this all about? What is the objective? Why such an assessment is required? Who is patronizing as we are talking to our Indian Chamber of Commerce representatives and the delegates present here. So every other aspect, like the details of the exam, what is the modality, computer-based, the students have to come to the center to appear for the test, what will be the format, how you are going to register for that, what are the uh, schemes of like uh, transferring money, which are available, net banking, UPI, debit card, credit card, whatever is required, then what will be the format of the photograph, what will be the format of the signature? Every aspect is given that you could not put outside the block. You have to put in within the system how things will be done. Every relevant information is provided in this particular segment. Exam venues, code of conduct, admit card, certification process, everything. Every information that you would require. Probably in this very short time, it is not possible to go through all segments. So uh, I would request all the delegates, all the students, all the attendees who are present to kindly go through the website. If you have any query, chat support is always available. You can ask us at any point of time. So I would like to uh, stop the, oh, okay. Maybe I would just go to the registration window once, uh, probably uh, from this my account section, uh, you can go th through that part. Yes, over here you can have this option to uh, log in or register as well as from the right from the very first page when you have uh, viewing this entire detailed information over there also you have the option to register. So over there you will find this register now option is there. So from that register now option if someone is going through that portion then also you will come down to this exact structure. This is the poster. This is the poster that has been uh, given to the colleges. You can keep your Mars, uh, cursor over here, the mouse over here to look into the uh, detailed aspect, uh, to zoom into the detailed content over here. The important segments, right? Over here, if you can see the uh, total poster is available. These have been sent in hard copy to almost all the colleges, as I mentioned. And over here, this is the detail segment that uh, the rupees total then the two years validity this information unlimited attempts no age limit at any point of time you can appear for this test scorecard to all qualified candidates all the different relevant features which we have mentioned is given and then in the personal information sec section you have to enter all the relevant details the other number this is a very important checkpoint which you have to bring in the exam hall as well it is mentioned over here as well that uh, uh, other number to be provided uh, 
which needs to be produced in the examination venue. So all other relevant information provided, you will find that you are going to get now, once you try to save the data, once you try to register now, at any point of time when you're registering, suppose you miss out the link or anything happens, the data will be saved and you can even complete the registration process afterwards if there is a power failure or anything like that. So you can come back, you can register. And once the registration process is done, you are going to get messages based on your registration has been done messages based on your account has been created and also a message based on that your the financial transaction that you have uh, like uh, completed this entire registration process for rupees 499 has been processed so you are going to get successively few sms to your uh, sorry few uh, like emails to your account registered email account as well as you are going to get a otp process to register in this entire segment. So I would request that once you're going through this process, keep your mobile phone with you so that any SMS and the OTPs that you are getting, as well as the emails that you are getting, you can continuously check back and get yourself, you can assure yourself the entire process has been successfully executed. In that process also, if you have any query, anywhere you face any difficulty, our chat support system will be available and be happy to answer to your queries as well. I think I have tried to cover most of the portions. I would stop the screen now and would like to see if there is any uh, question is coming from the delegates because as I was sharing the screen, I could not see uh, any of your queries as of now. So I will uh, take your all permission to stop the screen sharing and come back to the normal mode. Uh, uh, Mr. Mukherjee, yes. Mr. Mukherjee, I would like to just uh, include one point to our delegates who are already there. Uh, if you can kindly clarify that what are the regional aspects that we are covering here? Like uh, when they are registering that QR code, everybody will be having the accessibility to join on a regional basis only. So that clarification, I think uh, they will yes. want. Sure, madam. Sure, ma'am. Like, uh, uh, yes, one important feature because uh, like you will all observe that as I was trying to share the screen or the poster that you have, you will find that there is a QR code available. Even in the brochure also, there is a QR code available and in the poster also, there is a QR code available. So even you have the access to the QR codes, if you can directly scan through that, you will definitely find that you can join and these we have like very much space we have tried to make it very specific that any delegate who is trying to join from any region gets a specific clue to that particular region particular representative so if you are joining from the jharkhand section if you are joining from the northeast section if you are joining from the west south or the north any region your name will also be available to the regional heads as well. This is a very important feature. Thank you, ma'am, for highlighting this aspect because from the Kolkata and the suburbs, those who are joining, ma'am will directly get access that who are the candidates for registering. So if you have any query and you want to talk to the regional heads, they would also be happy to respond to you. And, and our team will always be there. And in case you have particular communication which you need to make to the regional heads also, that can be done quite easily. So this is a total system in that way so that the entire country as we have divided, as you can see the regional heads are joining, they would be happy to take up individual sections, individual regions to answer to their queries if you have any question at any point of time. So this is how the entire structure has been done. Uh, Mr. Mukherjee, 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 yes. Mukherjee, Mukherjee, these tests will be uh, conducted online or physically? Please identify as, that. As I mentioned that the registration process, once it is done in the online mode, they have to come down to the computer-based test centers where they will come with the Aadhaar card and the admit card that they have downloaded and they have to take... So then the regional... Yes, so this uh, regional categorization is very important even for every candidate to be present at the local centers. Right, right. Because it and is a physical you know, test. Physical yes. test, this yes. This is a physical, physical test. test, yes. Right, that's why the exam cities also I tried to uh, display at the very beginning so that the students, once they're registering, 
they will have the option to select their state, their cities of preference, and based on the availability at the first come first come basis, their choices will be handled. And accordingly, we can process the admit card in due course of time as it is available, as it is the normal process for most of the uh, competitive exams that we come across. Uh, one more thing, one last thing, one last thing. When is the registration registration opening? When can the, the students, is the it open? The registration process, as I have shown in the timeline, it is already open from March. It is already it open. open. And it will be open till April uh, 30th. So it is right now that we have sticking to that April 30th is the last date for the registration because we will be, uh, once the registration process is over, we will have to map the candidates to the different regions. Then as, I, as we have highlighted, the students are going to get access to the resume building process. So we have to generate the backend system. We have to do a lot of backend process to be done to map with the database of the candidates so that they can start this resume writing process, resume building process. So we need some time. And after that, after that 15 days, another 15 days of time, they can take the mock test. So we are so very- that is what that is what Mr. Mukherjee, now all the delegates who are there from the college, we would like to request all the college heads, college deans and faculties to circulate uh, this as, as far as possible to all your students, to all your uh, colleagues and other fraternities also for making it easy to join at the earliest so that we can close the registration uh, by the 30th of April. That is more important for any handholding, for any sort of uh, information, clarification, and uh, for any sort of support, we are always there. But uh, we need to get this to every person who are interested to apply for this test. So this will be another request to all the colleges who have uh, enrolled and registered here. Would We would like to request them to recirculate this agenda to the uh, others, uh, you know, student faculties as well. Right, Mr. Mukherjee? Right, absolutely right. Thank you, ma'am, for uh, putting this issue all, for point also. As we were talking to all other points, just uh, as I was, uh, you were uh, addressing just now, we received a call from the government college from Jammu Kashmir. So uh, they were asking for that information. They could not probably connect because of the some bandwidth issues from their end also. So they would like to have. So this recording, this entire process, we are streaming live. So we will provide the link to the attendees also, they will be receiving this link as well. Uh, and uh, what we would do is, uh, we would request all the delegates present over here to communicate this information as well as pass on this link for this entire webinar to their friends, their colleagues, their fellow members, relatives, maybe from other colleges who have not been informed or who have just missed out this information so that they can go through the poster and the brochure as well as they can take time to go through the webinar also so that they can uh, understand this entire process. I think that will be helpful for most of the people. So what I do is in this chat window, I will uh, put on the link for the, uh, like uh, the web uh, this particular webinar that we are sharing live. I will share the link over here as well. So uh, any other queries from any other delegates, we would be happy to answer you all. And any other panelists would like to share their views? Uh, Ajay sir, you would like to share some views over here? Uh, I can find your hand over here being raised. Uh, Ajay sir. Or any queries, if you have, we would be happy to answer you all. We would just um, like to wait for a minute or so to answer you. Or any other delegate would like to address something? Yes, Dr. Okay. Shengupta, you'd like to yeah, say something? Yeah, Mr. Mukherjee, one thing I would like to clarify, but uh, I think there will be some confusion. Every student has to be physically present in the computer aided examination center. The right. examination will be online. Examination will be online, but they have to be physically present there and physically uh, come with their other card or other identification things and all right. those things. So that is the thing. And the mock test will be held that they, they do not have to go to any examination center. They can do it from their home computer and on their laptop and all these things. So that is the thing that should be clarified. 
Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. I would I would also uh, put on this information again uh, for everyone. Yes, as uh, Dr. Shengupta also highlighted this, and uh, like uh, Mrs. Ghosh also uh, was asking on this very uh, important fact for the examination. For the examination, for the actual examination, a candidate has to go to the exam venue, and over there the exam will be happening based on the on the computer based test. So it's the online test happening at the examination venue. One part. Regarding the mock test, the candidates can take the mock test sitting at their home at any point of time. So they can start the mock test and they can take the test. So this is the total structure that we have. So the both the exams, if we think in that way, is computer based. One, you are sitting at home at your own ease. You can take the mock test, but the actual exam will happen at the exam venue. I think... Uh, uh, sir, I have cl uh, clarified this point. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely right. Another okay, question okay. has come up that whether the syllabus is same for every stream. Uh, Mr. Arjun Tiwari has uh, made a question. Arjun Tiwari is mock yes. test. Test syllabus are yes. same for every stream. No, uh, if you please uh, go through the again the link as I shared the syllabus for each and every discipline. The 40 mark syllabus is the same for all. For the 60% of the marks, depending on your choice of specialization, the questions will come. However, each and every candidate are not going to get the same question in the same format so that we have the option for shuffling of the questions. So no two candidates sitting side by side is going to have any access to like similar type of questions being arising so that there is no question of any kind of like mishandling in the examination hall. So these kind of issues are taken care of. The examination syllabus is different for the different five disciplines and the question papers, the way it will be arranged, it will be a curated question based on the shuffling of the questions being done. So this is how entire thing is going to happen. Uh, Mr. Mukherjee, this reshuffling of the questions will be uh, like every time uh, this uh, online process will be going, right? It's, it's, it's random. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's the random process based on the computer algorithm. It will keep on processing and it will try to shuffle it, shuffle the questions, shuffle the answers. Everything will go on accordingly. Okay, one more small query from my side that if a student, maybe uh, we are having a registration of 100 first time. So will there be a second uh, level of uh, uh, test also? Or are we closing the registration on the 30th? Maybe we are, for instance, if we are having, uh, say, uh, 25,000, right? And then we are left out with another 10. So if they are coming later, later on, if we are having that window of 10, 15 days, we are having that. So how, how will th that be processed in the next class? Can we have a second chance of uh, Yes, what we have plan is, what we have plan is that we will keep another window open for the next edition of this examination. Because the process will be like this, the way we have this IELTS 12 like that. If a student wants to register, if the next immediate deadline is available, they can take the exam on that day. Suppose a student comes at around, say, uh, June 15th. So that, okay, 2nd July is that exam. I want to register now. So that is not possible. The exam window is, uh, the registration window is closed. So they can, we will keep the next window open so that maybe in the, this is the summer edition of the examination that we are starting. So they can appear for the winter edition of the examination. They will have to then wait for another six months probably. Okay. So it and all depends on maybe maybe for any medical emergency they have registered and they are unable to or maybe some uh, other that will, then that will we will take care of so that also like maybe we can have a threshold of maybe some five to seven days like that as I mentioned that from the back end we have a lot of processes to be done so in case a candidate comes at a later stage with some medical emergencies also but if we find that whatever the choice he is giving we are not able to give. Because the exam cities, if they are full already, then we could not probably give them as per their choice. So there can be a difficulty in that segment also. That's why we will keep it on 30th April. We will we might extend under any such specific issue. Like, like we all know, like in this last pandemic also when it happened, 
there were a lot of deadlines but immediately with that kind of uh, like government circular or any other process if such kind of issues come up then definitely we will look for any other administrative but that will be decided from some no no uh, maybe that is a pandemic is a global issue or right, a yeah. separate issue but when i'm saying that if a candidate is registering from their end and they are having their own problem maybe somebody has expired in the family or maybe some unavoidable circumstances that they cannot so if they if they come back to us saying that ma'am due to this we could not but sir we could not sit so will there be a position of giving them another uh, test uh, schedule or if yes, they yes. cannot one more thing if they hmm. cannot attain a 40% marks the benchmark uh, uh, will there be a possibility of taking a retest or will they that happen only after a re admission you know like uh, again re registration oh so that uh, yes that will be a re registration for the next uh, uh, edition of the exam but regarding the first question that you asked in case of such kind of uh, issue someone expired or something happened in that issue then definitely we can take up that will be few cases only so with uh, like maybe some definitely we will be requiring though it will be too harsh but we will have to go through some proofs for that so that we can uh, take up such issues and that can be taken up in the administrative level and after a meeting only we can come for a uh, amicable solution normally normally what we do that uh, if somebody fails to appear in the examination uh, he can appear in the next phase that means uh, if it is a summer phase summer examination she can she or he or she can appear in the winter uh, exam okay fine that, so we are we keeping be. that yeah we are keeping that option yeah, yeah definitely okay. once he, has, he or she has registered we should give them the opportunity uh, to appear in the exam okay thank you sir thank you so much i think uh, if you all see the live streaming link has also been shared uh, from our uh, like um, chat support team i am also putting it once again uh, to everyone in the chat window so i think if you all please could save the link uh, in your system and if you can circulate it in the uh, like in the whatsapp groups also to your friends to your uh, other members i think they will all be benefited from this is the, i hope uh, we have tried to answer to most of the questions which were asked as well as to all the queries that may, it may have come up so in case uh, there is any other question any other query from anyone from the panelists the experts or the attendees we would be happy to answer else uh, we would like to um, end the webinar at this point any other um, point any other issue uh one thing sure sir uh once the registration process is over uh, right. we we should give a note what what the students can carry in the exam hall because it yes. is a difficult yes yes sir that, uh, uh, those, and they should only carry one pen on one one not they should not carry any mobile phone any other things whatever things that we should form a rule and we that should be posted in the in the website that is that is already there sir i'm just one second uh, sharing that particular information also uh, as uh, you have requested over here just a minute sir uh, just a minute sir i'm sharing my screen one second ah uh, if it is there it is okay No, yes sir i'm just sharing it once again so that uh, like just is it visible sir the screen is visible ha uh ha -huh. over here the code of conduct is given all candidates appearing must follow the rules and regular regulations whatever the things they have to do that they must carry admit card downloaded beforehand original valid photo identity and that okay. is in the form of the aadhar card they have to carry everything every detailed aspect is clarified within this exam information as i was highlighting in the base page in the information over here this exam information tab is given 
So wow. once a student clicks on this tab, <clears throat> he is going to find all relevant information about this exam, the detailed aspect, the registration process, photograph, signature, exam venues, then this code of conduct. Thank you, sir. I think with uh, everyone's permission, uh, I would request, uh, like, if anyone has got any other query, we will be happy to answer else. I will uh, request our headquarter uh, team, uh, Mr. Shuparna Ghosh and Mr. Devapurta Rai to take over from this point if we can uh, now close this process also, the webinar. If, ma'am, you can also ask for any other queries, then we can, maybe we can close the webinar right now. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have clarified from my end and I would also request all the participants who are there with the panelists. They can also write to us always. We are always there uh, for them for every handholding. And again, once more, uh, we would be circulating and recirculating. And if there is any uh, other scope where we can meet again uh, to bring about more uh, feedback and question answers, we will be most welcome. Uh, to do so uh, from our end uh, if uh, some industry stakeholders we can also invite them uh, to know the possibilities and uh, what are the requirements from their end we'll be most happy to take it and uh, we would also request all the participants to recirculate to their relatives friends and whosoever will be interested uh, to join this and let this uh, session and this initiative be the very successful one for uh, the, uh, both partners to have a very good uh, show and successful. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. Thank you, all the panelists, to join us. Thank it was a great. Uh, from the ICC, Indian Chamber yeah. of Commerce. Dr. Shen Gupto and uh, Mr. Seal, we Dr. are very, Shil. very glad to have you. Yeah, Dr. Seal, uh, to have you on board with us with all your experience. We would definitely like to. Uh, have more inputs from you to develop this and uh, whatever is required we'll take a call in a site and we leave the corners open uh, for more feedback more for more requests to come in so that we can identify uh, whatever is necessary to take this more you know this initiative to be more successful so we end here thank you everyone thank you thank you, thank you everybody uh, Devabrata sir, I would just request one point over here to you. Yeah. Uh, I think we can have this entire chat window recorded, right, sir? Chat window, actually, it is uh, on uh, on the screen, but uh, we don't uh, record it that one. But recording, you can get it. Just a minute. Uh, so no, the chat, chat will be automatically uh, come into a separate file. Yes, sir, I have saved it. I have saved it. In the house I have computer. saved it, yes. No, no, I have saved it separately okay. also. Okay, no problem. Yes, yes, done, done. I just wanted, because some of the, the delegates have given their details also, so yeah. I wanted to save it. Yes, that has been done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So, so Thank should you. I now just close? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir, you can end the meeting, sir. I think uh, we have tried to answer, okay. Uh, uh, can, uh, there is still one question. NEETMED can provide any e-books for study. Uh, as of now, we have not uh, pre uh, going into that mode as the ebooks preparation segment, but it will be mostly if you go through the syllabus, it is mostly from the three year course that all the every one of you is going through this portion. So we are not restricting to any particular book as per the syllabus, as we all, as we have discussed so many times, that we are trying to look for an industrial perspective of the uh, like the segments that we have studied. So with the thorough knowledge and with the insight of how the industries would look for, I think that will give a better insight. Maybe in due course of time, if we can incorporate the learning hub modules as we are planning with uh, Indian Chamber of Commerce, so that can be integrated. But definitely for the summer edition, we don't have such uh, facility for any e-books for study separately provided. Thank you. Thanks all of you.
I think you can end the we can end the meeting. Thanks to everyone for attending this attending this webinar on this NEET. Thank you all. Thank you, Sujay. Thank Have you.